Hey guys, I'm going to be working on the cowl again, and that's amazing because this time I'm going to be working on the Arkham Knight version of the cowl. Well, not the Arkham Knight character, but the Arkham Knight version of the Batman cowl. And I created the, the mold, the sculpt for the, the Arkham City version, but that one cracked because I let it dry too much. Now I'm going to be working on the Arkham Knight version, and here I've got my, my head cast. And as you can see, it's a, it's a bit shiny, and that's because I put wood glue on it. And what wood glue does is it makes it smooth and it makes it uh, a lot easier for the clay or whatever to come off. I've got this clay, got a couple of blocks on it, and this clay is sold for free plastering. Now what this does is it's non-drying modeling clay, which is exactly what I need because I don't want it to dry out. Now, what is extremely handy in uh, sculpting and molding and all that kind of stuff is a turning table it's because this is just the easiest thing ever do we look alike okay so but tomorrow Gabby is coming over and Nicole's coming over and we're all gonna sculpt and Nicole's gonna continue working on her Catwoman uh, maybe I'm gonna be working on my armor again because I want it to be finished as soon as possible. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna be on Snapchat. I'm gonna be Snapchatting the entire thing. Uh, so yeah, if you join me on Snapchat, you will probably already know this, but here it goes and you will get to see a little time lapse of it. I have to take a break really quick because this clay is amazing. It doesn't really stick to your hands that much, but you have to heat it up. You have to keep heating it up. That's why I use the heat gun or heat tool, whatever, to make it more flexible, make it that you can use it better. But I've, I gotta pause it because I promised I would Snapchat this and not vlog this the entire time. So I'm gonna pause the time lapse and you will see it tomorrow. Uh, well, t for me, it's tomorrow. You, it will be a matter of seconds. Okay, so I've got this already. One side did almost nothing on the other side, but this part right here is going to be very difficult because, as you can see, uh, there's a distinctive pattern in it, and I found a nice little technique for it, and that is by using the end of a pencil because you want these kind of pa kinds of pattern you just push the pencil down push a bit hard because it can get really sturdy 
and then pull it out. Okay, this is a bit too hard, but you catch my drift. guys today's day three of our cow making weekend Renee's coasting away in the back again say hello to the audience hello to the audience okay so yesterday we were sculpting and sanding away um, till quite late actually we forgot to vlog everything about that uh, today Gabby could make it to help us so we're picking her up later but first some supplies so I'm in the hardware store because I need to buy some safety goggles. Because Nicole and I both had the experience where we're sending her out and we blow and then all the, the tiny little dust particles fly into our eyes. And that's probably the most uncomfortable feeling you've ever felt in your life. Say hello to the audience. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> It's day four of our crafting weekend. And I'm still sending. And she's still sending away. If it all goes according to plan, today will be the day that she finally gets to paint it. Because her cowl is really smooth.
since I really need to continue with my armor and I've been putting it off way too long. I want to show you guys a quick tip on how to make these kinds of indentations because this is with cast fix. It's been the foam underneath, it's like this. So you have foam, cardboard, and this is gonna be covered by cast fix. So you want to use the Dremel in one of these round tools, one of these round heads, and just slowly slide it over from where to where you need it. So, I'm shaking the can of paint to spray paint my cow. After days and days of sanding, so I'm actually pretty happy. Today is the day. So it's day five of our crafting weekend. Starting to look a bit more like a crafting week. Um, but yesterday, late in the evening, we spray painted Nicole's cowl. And this is the end result. This is the end of our cosplay crafting weekend. We made a lot of progress. We had a lot of fun doing it. I want to thank Gabi for helping us. We will link her social media in the description below. So please check that out. She has done some amazing stuff. And if you guys have seen stuff that you want to know a little bit more about, don't be afraid to ask. If you like this video, please like it, please comment, and please subscribe. Thank you, and goodbye.